how to update your calendar this is something you're going to use quite often and it's really easy to do just log into your dashboard find the listing you want to update click on edit listing next to it and in the count click on the calendar icon to go directly to the calendar section for that listing all right this is a three-step process to block a date out it's really simple what you do is just come down here to the calendar with your mouse and in this case click on the date that somebody's arriving so I'm clicking on November 7th I'm gonna click on the 14th you'll notice that the whole week turned blue then you come up here to the green button that says add booking click on that and that week will turn red okay so that's it you click on the arrival date you click on the departure date the week will turn blue and click on add booking and it'll turn red so to show you again click on the 14th arrival date 21st departure date it's all blue add booking and now it's red okay now let's say that was a mistake I didn't mean to do that week you do not unblock a week up here you only block weeks up here scroll down underneath the calendar and this is your last 10 blank bookings that you've entered and this last one is right here so to open up those weeks just click on delete click on delete confirm it and now watch that week will open up so now the 14th to the 21st is open let's say we made a mistake on the 7th to the 14th and that should only be through Wednesday the 11th again scroll down to the bottom find it in the list click on edit and in this case we're going to change the checkout date to the 11th I'm gonna save it once it saves it you now want to go back by clicking back to availability this takes you back to the main calendar section and you'll notice that 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 listing was changed okay so that's how you do it uh, a couple other things to show you on here these uh, buttons okay so we know what this button does that adds a blank booking but calendar up to date is an important button too every time you update your calendar like we just did by adding a date we uh, reward you by moving you to the very top of your subscription group so if you're a gold listing with us you'll be the very first gold listing with us every time you update your calendar until another owner updates his calendar then he jumps ahead of you so by doing this those owners that need the bookings just automatically rise to the top and owners that are already full who won't update the calendars anymore will start falling to the bottom so uh, it's a good thing to do and if you don't actually have a week to add just click on this button my calendar is up to date by doing that you're just verifying with us that your calendar is up to date and again we'll push it to the top of the subscription group so great thing to do another thing I want to show you real quickly are um, these diagonal lines these diagonal lines you see on the calendar represent a change over day okay so if I look at this week in August somebody's checking in on the 15th by that diagonal and they're checking out on the 29th so that's a two-week rental just like this week in September they're checking in on the 5th and out on the 12th that's a one-week rental and in October they're checking in on Thursday the 16th out on Monday the the 19th so that's what those diagonal lines mean if you scroll underneath the calendar you'll see our key uh, red means that the weeks are not available or the dates are not available green means that they're available and gray means that there's no rate set so you want to have all your dates on here they should be green and red if you see gray that means you got to go in and set your rates for those periods so we always recommend you have your rates set at least a year in advance and in this listing we do it's now August of 2020 and our rates are set through December 2021 um, lastly there's the pending option so when you block out a week you have the availability to mark it pending instead of booked so let me show you how to do that real quick we'll do that 14th to the 21st we're going to make add booking but notice I selected pending so now it's gold okay which means it's pending according to our key we don't recommend that you do this because when you mark a week as pending and people might do that if they're waiting for a check to come in from from somebody they book to you'll you will not show up in the search results if it's red or if it's gold so our best practice is to leave the weeks available until you get uh, that check in hand then block it out in red so again to uh, fix that mistake we're just going to come down here at the top of the list and we're going to delete it okay now one last thing I want to show you some of the support calls we get are hey you know we go down to the availability list at the bottom and we don't see um, the dates well that's because we only show right here the last 10 blank bookings so if you scroll to the bottom of the list there's a booking history list that will take you to another pop-up window that shows you all of your your uh, blank bookings that you've ever put in now there's not a lot for this rent for this listing but if there were you could have multiple pages down here that you can navigate to okay but in this case they're all just on one page there's 13 records so uh, probably these last three wouldn't show on that first page that we just came from click on the X to close it out you're back to the main part of your listing okay so that's how you update your calendar